Hi there, I'm Nick Dimmock. I'm Director of Investor Relations at NJ8. Today, again, we are at Cullum Science Park, home to the UK Atomic Energy Agency. And today, we're getting the electricity to electricity energy cell tested. And I've just heard that it's done a Q value of plus five on or around that for the last 10 minutes. That's a complete game changer. Q value of five, one unit, energy in to get things going and five units of energy liberated by a fusion process. And the stability of that uh, fusion was just remarkable um, to watch it happen. I'm an engineer so I look at things from an engineering point of view. Um, I, I think this could make the biggest difference to climate change of any other technology on the face of the earth. This changes everything really um, but it changes things in other ways that you might expect, which I'm coming to terms with now. It will effectively democratise energy throughout the world. The, the ability to produce energy in a standalone fashion, it affects so many things. Energy cell, as well as providing non-interrupted base load power, constant power, it's also a hugely decentralised solution. My sense is that this is another frontiers land technology where some people dismiss it because they don't understand the mechanism, but the proof is there, you know, we saw it today. Now, this decentralisation is really, really important because the grid has lots of bottlenecks in it and we need to spend billions uh, adding new 500 kV, 1000 kV uh, lines to get renewable energy down from where it's generated to where it's needed. Things like electrical vehicle chargers, you can't connect them to the grid. So in this country, there's enormous problems because you can't charge your cars. And as you know, this is leading to some mad situations where wind farms are turned off or curtailed. Uh, as they say in the industry, because either it's going to fry the grid and they, they can't get it through the system. So people are coming up with all sorts of crazy solutions like diesel generators to charge your electric car. You're talking about an exponential growth to decentralized where every home, every car, everyone will have this and it will happen a lot faster than we think. You can have one on the back of your house provides all of your electricity and heat. Because once it started, it never has to stop. As far as I'm concerned, it exceeded my expectations. The unit was able to run seamlessly, and uh, yeah, we got to see it in action, which was you know, more than I, I could, have, could have hoped for. It's very, very exciting because this technology, certainly even today, the results they're seeing um, have just never been done before, ever, anywhere in the world the impact that fusion could have on a global scale. There's so many people without electricity. I'm a biotechnologist, um, chemical engineer, and uh, general technology scout at the moment, working for companies in the UK and the Middle East to bring um, the best decarbonisation technologies to market as quickly as possible. Very impressive. It's a fantastic team. Um, incredible. So many man decades of absolutely top level experience. Part of my role hopefully will be to help scale that up and commercialise it as quickly as possible um, into different applications. Industrial applications and for other consumer applications and this could be you know, the holy grail to help solve that. I was one of the early investors into the, into the technology and I've seen it go from early birth into what I would call a quantum leap for mankind. I think we could have an intermediate product um, shippable within 12 to 18 months. Uh, I'm backing this with, uh, with you know, my time and my effort and, uh, and money because I think it's the right thing to do. The um, fossil fuel industry is, has been there for us for 300 years. It's enabled the Industrial Revolution. Our society wouldn't exist as it does now without it. But you know, we're coming to the end of when that's viable. Um, and this is a transition in human society. Um, it's been a long time coming, but I think everybody's ready for it. And without any doubt now, we, we know that we're in the fast lane. I'm hoping to see my investment take off big time. So. And I want to be part of it too. 
We are going on a road show in um, December, early January, um, specifically to America and to other countries as well, to promote um, our business and to raise additional finance from institutional investors. Here we've got Commonwealth Fusion Systems. Commonwealth Fusion specializes in hot fusion, companies worth uh, seven billion dollars. Uh, or circa seven billion dollars, seven billion dollars and change. I heard somebody was talking about a billion at a rather high valuation. Um, well, you have to look at the market because in um, in the technology sector we are working in, um, the only way is to use current comparatives, and uh, uh, there are many companies which are valued over a billion which work in this sector and uh, they have not yet achieved the results we managed to achieve.